Hi, this is the Bushcraft Garden. In this video, we're gonna harvest wild black cherry wood and use it to smoke venison my buddy here got back in November 2020. There is another 10 minute video covering the tree foraging process. Too long didn't read, hiked a lot, crossed a creek, climbed a big hill. Yep. A really big hill. The local tip we had yeah. was good, and we found a grove of black cherry trees. It's bigger than I was looking for, but... Took a few minutes to make a positive ID and find the right size specimen, though. Distinguishing factors of the Prunus aretino are bark that plates with age until it resembles burnt potato chips. The wood has a distinct almond smell, and raw wood chips taste like a mouthful of almond essential oil. After dividing the parcels, we pack it back to the house for a kiln dry to kill any pests before transport. It's pretty dry now, like most of the moisture is out of it. Like this piece, especially like, yeah, once it cracks like down like that, then it's usually like ready to go. All right. Because if you leave it in a solid piece, it takes like a lot longer to dry. Here, like the hard wood is exposed to the air and it dries out quick. What is that over there? What's that? It's uh, like a chimney starter. So, like load charcoal into here and then just, like pre-light it basically. I should have left it upside down so it's not full of shit. Woulda, shoulda, coulda, right? Yes, sir. We gotta pre soak them for like 15 minutes. So, I'm just gonna douse them with the uh, lighter fluid. Now we just let that burn till it stops flaming. Bottom is red hot, so it's burning good on the bottom. Okay. You gonna bring the meat out now? No, it's gonna take probably like 15, 20 minutes for that all to burn down. You want you want there to be no flame. See there's a flame coming out. You want it to be just like white white coals, and then it'll be ready to go. That's probably gonna take a while. So right now we're gonna go like lay the meat out and just let it like come to room temp and just have it all like laid out and then we dump the coals and then put the meat on right away. How long did you air 
long did this one? Uh, 24 hours. Okay. So basically just overnight. I got Worcestershire sauce and then a lot of black pepper, some red pepper, and some teriyaki sauce, mm -hmm. and then some curing salt so it doesn't go bad. I always thought like, you know, pioneers just use basic salt. You can, but it's going to taste super salty. So curing salt isn't as salty, but it still has the preservative okay. factors of salt. And I'm putting like the small thin pieces on the top rack and the thicker cut pieces will go on the bottom rack. Because they'll be closer, closer to heat. Yep. Do we have to flip them like halfway through? No. Okay. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. It's gonna be spectacular. Let the snow melt out? No, we need to. Sticks in. And those will start will start burning. Once you put the lid back on they'll go, go out. And we'll get some nice smoke. And then once it hits 150, I'll start closing vents to keep it at 150. 150 to 170 will be good. I'll be happy with that. I like how it's not oh it's not on all the way. Oh that's my bad. No, it's okay. Getting a little hot. Start closing vents. I'll leave the top vent open so all the moisture escapes. You don't want it like boiling in itself. So right now I'll just mess with the bottom vents more. So like loop. drive the heat up? Yeah. So like it, it basically won't have enough oxygen to feed itself, but it'll smolder. Yeah. So it'll stay, stay cooler than if it was just burning at full capacity. Those are good. <laughs> How is it? A little overdone, a little on the crispy side, but it's jerky. It's not wet. It'll <laughs> it'll last for a while. <laughs> a little crispy, but <laughs> a little heavy on the pepper too. <laughs> I like the wood flavor though. Yeah. It's not hickory like bitter, but 
Yeah, I like cherry wood. It's a good, good smoky flavor. Yeah. They weren't spiced evenly, I'll tell you that much. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think all the pepper like sunk to the bottom and the pieces that were on the bottom got most of it. Yeah. How many hours were they in there? It's like, uh, what time is it? 4.50. Oh. I found my peppers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little too long in there. So maybe cut them a little thicker. Like two hours in the smoker, probably. I think it might have gotten a little too hot too, because they've got like a like a crisp char on them. Yeah. Like flaky. You know. Well, now we know. I could go on a hike with this and like some biscuits and be happy. No. And water. Yeah. And water. <laughs> no, this tastes like Minnesota. Yeah. Deer hunting and wood, cherry wood. I was gonna say it tastes a bit like. You know that two weeks where the wood is super wet and, like, all the new buds are coming out? Mm. Like, it tastes kind of like that time. Yep, it's, like, moist in the air. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, all those enzymes are releasing. Like, <laughs> you get that, like, fresh wetness to it. Because it doesn't taste like yeah. oak. Oak tastes kind of yeah. heavy. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is a lot lighter than oak. Yeah, my favorite wood is hickory. But, like, hickory, like, if, if we would have done this with hickory, it would have been pretty bitter. Yeah. Like, I like how that turned out. Flavor wise, wood wise, I like it. What? Yep, yeah, dude. Smoke wise, I'm really digging it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could definitely do that again. Oh heck yeah! Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. Great success. Yeah. Success. <laughs> yes. Thank well you done. for for uh, finding the wood. Well, thank you for uh, smoking the meat. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Taste the place and make it home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take yes. it in. That's hot. Holy shit. <laughs> Take two. Smooth move. <laughs>